ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் மீ யூ வசந்த் சண்முகம் ப்ளீஸ் டூ சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் எட் லைக் கமெண்ட் யூர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபீட்பேக்ஸ் இன் த கமெண்ட் செக்ஷன் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி ஹவு டு இன்டெக்ரேட் அவர் ஜேமீட்டர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் அவர் ஹவு டு புஷ் த ஜேமீட்டர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் the files into github so that is the video that we're going to see or that is the demo we're going to see in this video today so before we move on to how to do or how to push the repo into github let's see why should we do that so what is the reason for doing it so unlike any other tools something like new load which has its own new load repository or it gives the new load tool its own set of integration tools to connect to github or to the azure devops or something like in load runner where we have options to include or to connect to the github directly through the tool but jmeter does not have any such plugin so far or it does not have any direct integration with github but luckily github has come up or git has come up with the advantage of connecting them through directly through the command prompt so we can directly connect we can even make or we can push the changes we can pull the request so we can do anything that we want using github or through git so we are going to see that today we will see some of the basic steps of how to create a new repo because we need to have a new repo in github and then we'll have to init we have to initiate the git in the repository and then we have to clone our git repository in the local machine and then we'll have to push the file so let's see them one by one today in this video so first we will have to so we have so as an assuming that we have uh, the local setup which is the jmeter ready in our mission so in case if you have any doubts in jmeter you can visit my jmeter tutorial playlist in my video section so first let's create a new repo in github because already we have a script and we have everything ready in our local machine so let's now move on to the remote machine and let's create a github repo so it is going to be jmeter repository and let's can have the same name in the description and we'll add a readme file and i'm cre- creating the repository so this is the very first step and let's note it down so the very first step which is creating a repository in gem in git in github so the second step is going to be initiating github initiating git in the folder in the local folder in our local machine so initiate git in our local machine so that's the second step the so first step is done so let's move on to the second step and for that let's we have to go to the folder so this is the folder which we are going to push to the remote git or to the github so what we have to do is let us open the terminal from this location so what i'm going to do is i'm just right clicking on the screen and inside the folder and just right click and clicking on open in terminal so what the, what is the advantage of doing this is we automatically get the complete location of this file and what we are going to just do just git in it so once we initiated the git we can see this git dot git folder inside your machine and this has the various settings and the info about the folder the everything that whatever the git configure that everything that it has so it this will be enabled only if you were if you have enabled the hidden item so i have just enabled the hidden item so that's the reason we can see the git dot git folder here and let's now go back to the partial so the next step is so we have initiated the github repo so the second step 
is done so the third step is going to be cloning our git repo in the local machine so cloning the remote github repo in our local machine so how to do that so for that first let's take the url and for that we'll have to go to the code and under https let's copy the code here then let's come back to the terminal and let us do a clone so git clone and right click so we'll get the url and when we click and enter automatically the repository will be cloned into our local mission so that's the reason so here we can see the jmeter repository is here and then the git file and everything is inside it so the second thing so the next thing which we are going to do now is we will run a git status to make sure that everything is ready to push so we'll do a git status and here we can see we have two different folders that has to be added to the to the github to the git so let's do a git add and dot because this will add all the files to the git let's wait for a few seconds okay so we have added everything and now let's do a git status again and here we can see every file is added to the git and let's now do the so we have so this step just the cloning is done and then we do a git add dot which is done and the next step is going to be git clone so let's see sorry uh, it is I'm sorry it's git commit with the message let's now do the fifth step which is the git commit so we are going to do a git commit hyphen m and this is our first commit so we have added the files and we have committed it so let's when we do the git status now so here you can see there is nothing to commit and we are working on a tree clean so now everything is ready so the sixth step is going to be creating a branch so we're going to create a branch it's always advisable to create a branch and to make all our changes and once every change is completed and then after a peer review and once everything is tested we can, we will have to merge it to the main we should not or it's not advisable or it's not a good practice to directly push the files to the main folder or to the origin folder so what we'll do now is we will do a git branch so git checkout hyphen b develop is the branch that we're going to create now and we're going to check it out so we have now switched to a new branch which is develop so when we do a git branch check so here we can see we have the master branch and then we have the develop branch so this is the sixth step we have created a new branch and we have and checked it out and we have checked out to the checked out so this is the sixth step and it is done and now the next step is going to be setting up the upstream because without setting up the upstream we will not be able to push the files to the remote repository so we're going to set the upstream so let's see how to do that and for that the command is going to be git push set upstream and then we will have to copy the repository details here so we'll have copied it then coming back to the upstream so this is the origin location and the branch is going to be developed so what we are doing is we are setting up the upstream so we are going to upload the file to this repository and the branch is going to be developed so when we click on enter so let's wait so here we can see that the files are getting uploaded to the repository so let's wait for a few more seconds to see what happens at the end of the push
so yes same time we have completed our push at the meantime here we have seen we are, we are able to see that there is the pull request that has been automatically popped up so which tells us that we are ready to do the pull request so so far so we have almost completed what we have planned so so far what we did is these steps so we created a remote repository in github and then we initiated a git in our local machine to make sure that that is the folder that we are going to push and that is the basic settings that we will have or we will need to do any git changes or any git actions and the third action is we have cloned the remote repository to our local machine and then we have added all the files after that we have committed all the files and make sure we have added that with a message and then we have created a branch a developed branch and then we have checked out and then finally we have set up the upstream and if we have uploaded we have pushed all the files to the folder and then finally we are seeing the pull request and when we click on the compare and pull request you can automatically see all the files have been loaded here and since this is the first very first time we can see every file in this location and once you compare the changes and complete the pull request you can automatically merge it to the main branch and here we can see we have got two branches the main and the develop and we can see the folders that we have committed to this repository so i think this video would have been very useful to you so until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye, -bye from asan shanmugam and later so please do question please do send me or please do ask any questions if you have if you want any clarifications please do give me any feedback which i want to improve in my videos so until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye, -bye from asan shanmugam and later so